Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's session I am going to teach about RC delay model in VLSI circuit. So in this delay model, RC represents for resistance and capacitance. R represents for resistance. C represent capacitance. So in this delay model, resistance and capacitance is very important to decide the transient performance of performance of MOSFET. So this resistance and capacitance is very important to decide the transient performance of MOSFET. So in this RC delay model, the transistor is consist consider switch with resistor. So in this RC delay model, the transistor is considered as a switch with resistors. So in this uh, session, I am going to draw the NMOS transistor structure corresponding RC delay model and PMOS transistor structure corresponding delay model, RC delay model. So let me take first NMOS transistor. So it's a symbol of NMOS transistor. It has a three terminal. So this center terminal called as gate. So this one called as drain. This one name called as source. Here I represent K. So this K represent the size of drain and source. The distance between the drain and source point is K. G represent for gate. So it's a gate terminal, drain terminal and source terminal. So length and width of this NMOS transistor is 4 by 2 lambda. So length and width of the NMOS transistor is 4 by 2 lambda. Then resistance value. So resistance value is R. So the effective resistance of so effective resistance of this RC delay model is VDS by IDS. So VDS represent voltage between drain to source and drain to source current. It's a effective resistance value or N. R N represent effective resistance. Now I convert this NMOS transistor into RC delay model. So transistor resistance. So here the transistor act as a switch. So this terminal is called as gate. So this terminal called as drain. So this one called as source. So this capacitance is drain capacitance. This one is source capacitance. So this one is gate capacitance C. So here distance between the drain to source is K. So here I represent R by K. KC. KC and KC. So KC, this KC is the gate capacitance. This one is source capacitance. This one is drain capacitance. So it's a simple RC delay model for this MOS circuit. Come to the PMOS circuit. So it's a symbol of PMOS circuit. Gate, drain and source. So width of the transistor is K. So in PMOS transistor, the electron mobility of electron is very less. So lower mobility. So the resistance value is twice or thrice. So two times of resistance or three times of resistance compared to NMOS transistor. Then I draw the structure of uh, RC delay model for PMOS. So this resistance and the PMOS transistor act as a switch. So gate terminal 
take from here the switch closing point so this one called as drain on source this one is gate terminal so diffusion capacitance form in drain and source terminal so it's a drain capacitance this one is source capacitance so this one called as gate capacitance so here width of the transistor is k so the capacitance value is kc kc on kc the resistance value in pmos transistor is twice the resistance value so 2 or by k so it's a resistance value so the model circuit we have a two capacitance so one is the gate capacitance and another one is a diffusion capacitance so diffusion capacitance so diffusion capacitance is depends on size of drain and source region so it depends on size of drain and source region then second capacitance is gate capacitance so gate capacitance is depends on the length of the channel so channel length increased gate capacitance also increased so it not affect the diffusion capacitance so it not affect the diffusion capacitance okay so it's a simple structure of a pmos symbol then pmos or rc delay model now draw the inverter circuit so rc delay model for inverter circuit so in this cmos inverter we have a two transistor pmos transistor and nmos transistor so it's vdd this one is vss the output of the first inverter is connect to input of second inverter so this one is vdd this one is vss so this one is output so input is a output input to a bar so now i convert this inverter circuit into rc delay model i am going to draw the rc delay model for this inverter circuit so first i draw the pmos inverter so pmos transistor it act as a switch then nmos transistor so this transistor also act as a switch because uh, a value equal to 1 so in this case the nmos transistor is turn on pmos transistor is turn off then it connect to vss so it's connect to vdd so here the distance between the source and drain is 2 the nmos transistor is 1 So this one connect to VDD. So here the diffusion capacitance is 2C, and source capacitance also 2C. The resistance value is twice or 2 or by 2. 2 to cancel. Remaining or is made in here. Then this resistance value is or because here the width of the transistor is 1. Then the capacitance value. so this capacitance is connect to ground and this capacitance also connect to ground the capacitance value is cc so output is take from here as a second inverter portion and finally get the output here so it's vdd this one is vss so it's a rc delay model for this inverter circuit then final equivalent circuit is when a value equal to 1 so this nmos transistor is turn on so output get from this pull down network is or and this four point is considered as output capacitance so this value cc so this four capacitor is considered as output capacitance 
just you add this capacitance value. So 2C, 2C, 4C, 5 and 6. So totally 6C, the capacitance value is 6C. You get the output from here. So it's output. So in this case only pull down network is operate. So the resistance values or and capacitance values 6C. So these two capacitance are considered as non-switching capacitance. These two capacitance considered as non-switching capacitance. Non-switching capacitors. So I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thank you.